Okay, everybody, we are going to be starting our painting this morning. And I'm hoping the last time I did one, I, my apologies, the, I had a really tough time getting it to um, the whole screen to show up. So I'm hoping this will work for you. So I'll show you um, what's on my mind is I'm just going to do some white paint first. And then we just take a little bit of water on the brush. And then what I'm going to do, I'll water it down. I'm just going to kind of sketch out a um, the first angel so I can sort of kind of get an idea about proportions and where I want this angel to be placed. I'm also going to be doing some palette knife work, and I love these. I'll show you. These are my favorite tools. And I will tell you, I don't have a clue which ones I'm going to use. I don't have a clue how this is going to come out. But these are really great tools for painters. And I got these at Hobby Lobby, I think. I got a set of them. They're not that expensive. And then the brushes I'm using, I got at Walmart. There's just a set of various different ones. Um, you really don't have to have expensive tools to have a beautiful painting. Um, a lot of the paints I get, you can get them for 50 cents at Walmart. I don't, I don't, I found the really expensive paints really don't do any different than, than the cheap ones. So I just really enjoy using all the different colors. So what we're going to do first is we are going to sketch out the first angel. So we're going to start right here with the head and these sketches I'm going to go over anyway. And I will say, this is the biggest canvas that I have personally ever worked on. So this one is the size of my TV. It's like a 30 by 36 inches. So it's really big. And so this is a big challenge for me too. But I just sketch out um, in this one. I'm going to bring some shoulders. I'm going to paint over this anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, I'm just going to move it a little bit closer because I'm finding it hard to reach. And everything I do is portable. I have my, um, normally I would have my music going, but when I do that, people say they can't hear me. So I'm going to just share a couple stories with you while we do this. And for this angel, I'm going to let her, she's going to have kind of a robe on. I have actually seen angels, and they are just the most amazing creatures ever. The ones, some of them I've seen um, have wings, some of them don't. Um, I haven't seen them for quite a while, to be honest. It, they kind of, I don't have any control over when they decide to appear. But I, they're always um, during important times in my life. And I have this really cool story that I'm going to share with you. So I had this little dachshund. His name was Shelby. And we had him for 13 years. He's just the sweetest little puppy and you know how the sad part is when you have a dog you know they're not going to live as long as you do that kind of goes with the territory of having these little animals but um so he started to get really sick and um you know we just knew he couldn't hold his bladder and he was you could just tell he was in a lot of pain and I'm sorry I'm gonna go back and forth between the story and the angel and I'm gonna start to get the wings just kind of so I know where they're going um, but anyway this poor little puppy just was getting sicker and sicker he was in so much pain that he couldn't walk up the stairs without being in a lot of pain um, you know so we kind of had to make the tough decision that we were going to put him down so I had you know we chose the day and it was a day when my husband was going to be off from work 
And you know, any of you that have ever had an animal, you know it's so incredibly hard to have to do that. And it was in this situation too. I cried buckets and buckets. And I happened to be off with him the day before we were going to put him down. And he, I just had the best day with him. I played with him out in the sunshine. And he got to eat a whole plate of spaghetti. And he played with the cats. And we just had so much fun with him that day. And so I had him out in the yard. And this you know, this stranger stopped by the yard, stopped by, and um, I had never met this guy before. And he got out of his truck, came over, and he said, he handed me these two pictures of his two animals that he had put down. Now, how would this guy ever know that I was getting ready to put my dog down and that I was in agony over it and I was praying and asking the Lord, should I do this? Is this the right thing to do? And he, he looked at me and he said, Bonnie, it's time. So how would he know that? So he said that he felt prompted to pull over and that I needed to be encouraged, so he told me that it was time to put the puppy down. He got back in his truck and drove away, and I never saw him again. So I don't know to this day if that was an angel, that he looked like a, an old guy in a beat-up truck, or if he was someone who just listened to God's voice, but it was so encouraging to me because it was such a hard decision. And so the next day... We took him to the vet and we did have him put down and I had the coolest thing happen because Jesus appeared to me in a vision and I saw him holding my little puppy and I totally believe that these little animals go to heaven. They are such a part of our lives and they bring us so much joy and they're pure souls. They don't have to be saved by a savior like humans do. They just love from their heart. So I, I felt like Jesus just gave me a dose of such an amazing encouragement. So I thought that would encourage you guys. And the reason I wanted to share that story too is if God speaks to your heart and prompts you to do something that you don't usually do, it would really bless people you just never know. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick up some paint on my little palette knife. And we're going to try these wings. Now with the palette knife, what I like about it is... I want texture. Actually, let me try a different one. This one, I'm going to try this one. Um, I I just kind of want to get the hint of the wings. And so I'm going to purposely drag it. Let's try. My little puppy is being quiet, so I'm going to take advantage. Yeah, this is what I want. So I turn it sideways. That's exactly what I want. So it's not meant to be perfect. And I'm going to go over the part that I sketched in. Yep, this is exactly what I want. See how you can see? It kind of gives it texture. It's perfect. And then I'm going to do the other wing. can't wait to see how this one comes out and this one kind of has a really cool story so I meet a lot of people through my Etsy shop it's called the father's market and um, so I had a woman contact me and ask me if I would do an angel painting for her and so I said yes I would love to do one so she's been we've been emailing and texting back and forth um, and this one has a special meaning for her. I, I can't really go into her story because she likes to do these classes with her children. But she had a major heartache in her life. And so I pray over these paintings that they will bless people. So you can see, see, this is just exactly what I wanted. It's like I want this to kind of blend in with the background and be part of the picture. And so I got the wings just exactly the way I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, work my way across the canvas, and I'll take me with you, you with me as we work on them. 
Um, and then I've learned with acrylics, you have to let the paint dry between the coats. Otherwise, you see places like this, I was going back and forth with a big paintbrush, and I don't mind this because the background I want to be dark anyway, but um, you can see it turns kind of brown, and these places here where the color saturation is brighter is because um, I was patient and I didn't do it when the paint was wet. But we're going to work our way across, and I'm going to get all these angels started. And so I'm going to move the camera down and we'll work our way down. So we are going to start this second one. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Put the head here. And I kind of like to do it round at the top and an oval kind of for the chin. And I need to put a neck on it. I kind of didn't for the other one. And like I said, these are, um, I'm going to paint over this anyway, but it kind of just gives me a visual so I can see where to put the wings. And make the arm sleeves come out. And we're going to make the... So you kind of don't have to have a lot of, you know, these are kind of looking like stick figures, so I'm not trying to go for detail i'm just trying to get these on here so i can see where i want to place the wings and we're going to do the very same thing again so i've loaded up this i love the shape of this one and we're gonna do the same with the wings for this one And if I drag it, that's, I kind of want that um, effect. Yep, that's what I want right there. And each one's going to be a little different. And that's what we want. So we've got our second one done. Okay, so now we're going to work on number three. I'm having so much fun. The hardest part is waiting for these to dry. And I don't want these to be in a straight line. And I want this one to be a little bit closer. So we're going to paint the head and we're going to put the neck on and I hope you guys are all doing okay getting through this this has not been easy going through this COVID-19 stuff I, I feel like um, people are probably starting to feel stir crazy because most of us are healthy you know most of us feel pretty good so it's not really so much fun when you have to stay home and you feel good. I know for myself, I work from home and um, I'm blessed because of that. And I uh, don't really have to get out in it. My husband is an essential worker, so he gets out in it. And we just have to pray every day that God will keep him safe. And I've been praying every day for all of you guys that the Lord will keep you safe. He will meet your needs. That, And I'm going to do exactly the same thing, you guys, as the other wings. So we're going to just bring them up. And um, just praying. You know, I believe that I've been feeling in my heart like we're going to have, it's going to be done sooner than they think. I just have a feeling that um, it isn't as bad the projections of course they had to do the worst case scenario you know which we appreciate the models for that and all the hard work but i just i just keep having the feeling that it's not going to last as long as everybody thinks like this knowing on the inside and i just feel like um the god's in control and i just really believe that 
we're gonna see things turn around. I don't really know a time frame. I'm hoping maybe by the end of May, the president will be able to start lifting some of the restrictions and we'll start having some data come in. But in the meantime, I've just been feeling like God has allowed this. There's been a purpose in it because, you know, it's like all these people who are, we think stuck home, but really kept home safe have I've seen lots and lots of people seeking the Lord I have been too and you have extra time you know and I just I can't help but have like this I have this excitement on the inside of my heart that God's going to use all this stuff for his glory and I I've been believing that we're getting ready to see a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit so I think that's probably why God's had us praying you know he's had us all searching our hearts and praying and doing things a little bit differently than we normally would so see how pretty that looks we have our three angels and I want to do one more I think just have to figure where I want them but what I'm going to do like see how these colors I'll go back through with these these beautiful these are my favorite colors I love purples and blues and the magentas and reds and pinks so I'm going to go back and those are the colors I'm going to use for the um for them so we're going to do one more angel because this lady specifically wanted four and I actually love, this is my favorite part. I love these muted colors. But like I said, I don't want them all in a straight line. So I think we're just going to put this one just a little bit lower. And I'm sorry, it looks like my little puppy has woken up. I'll have to take her outside. She's so much fun, but she's at a really demanding age. And then I'll take a picture so you guys can see this. Um, I'm going to turn it off so she doesn't fuss and whine while I'm doing it because it's the same technique. But I will let it dry and we'll come back and work some more. So you can kind of see the wings. Each one of them's a little different. But I, I'm just, it's like I want to give the illusion of the wings and kind of overlap them. I kind of really like that. But this has been so peaceful and relaxing and for myself this is how I worship the Lord by doing something that I love so I hope this will be a blessing to you guys too okay so here's our these are our primary colors that we're going to be using and sorry I bumped it um, we're going to start with the red dress first. So I've loaded a little bit on and it's, I just want to drag it and we get kind of the shape of the dress. I remember I told you before that we're just going right over the light. This is one of my favorite techniques. I absolutely love working with um, the palette knives. It just adds a lot of texture. So what I'm going to do, switch hands so I can switch direction. I'm actually left-handed, but when you're a lefty, you learn to do a lot of things with your right hand. So I'm like that. Just want to cover that white. I kind of want it to blend into the painting. And then I'm going to come back and do the, um, the head and the arms and stuff. But for right now, we're just working on the dresses. have the first one done and let's see if I can 
um, what I do, what's easy is I just take a washcloth and clean these off to switch colors. It just makes it a lot easier. And then the next color I'm going to do, I think, let's see, I'm trying to decide what color do I want for the next one. Mm -hmm. Have a naughty little puppy who's playing tug of war with my pants. Um, I think I guess I'm gonna do orange for the next one. I actually orange I, I like. And see it's kind of going right over the wings. What I might do is go back and add another color after these dry. The hardest part is letting them dry. Um, and like I told you, they'll be muddy if we don't. And especially if these are kind of thick, um, and I want it to be that way, it's intentional. I probably will go back and add layers on top of these but we've got a good start and I'm purposely leaving the hems um, long and kind of fading into the picture Just wiping off this color and we're gonna put the next color we're gonna do the darker blue and so you can see I, I did the wings first because you have to go right over them if I hadn't waited for them to dry I, the colors would have mixed together so I would have had like pink wings and the baby blue color and so I want each one to be defined so the fun part about this painting is it's like layer upon layer upon layer and every part that you add just makes it more beautiful and I love to do these like I said because I never know what they're going to look like until I'm done with them. But they are joyful to work on. God gives us the most amazing gifts, you know? He gives us, he wants us to enjoy the life that he's given us. He said that, Jesus said, I've come that you might have an abundant life. He said, I've come that you might have life, have it to the full. So even in the middle of the COVID virus, he gives us joyful moments. Like this is joyful today spending time with you and sharing how to do this together Oops. and a cool part about um, if I happen to do something that I don't really like it's easy to go back and paint over it And I think we're going to do purple for the last one. For this one, I'm going to go back over with some light blue. This one, I'm going to go over with some red. And that one, I'm going to go over with some orange. So you'll see, it's going to be real pretty. We'll do the purple for the last one. And what I'll do is move this over so you can see. Actually, I'll stop it. We'll go ahead and work on the purple. So I took Bailey for a walk in between. She 
got to run and get some of her energy out. So she's being a lot better. She's been a joy. She actually was an answer to prayer 12 years ago. I asked the Lord for a long-haired dachshund. And we had one. I was telling you the story of the other dachshund I had. Just loved him. Such a fun dog. And they were very expensive. And we just weren't in a place where we could do it. Well, this year, I, I wanted to um, get another one. And I found a breeder that only charged half price, that the price that everybody else charged. And it was really cool because I sold a painting for $250 and I had a bunch of sales on my website that came in. And it was just a blessing I was able to pay for her. She was a gift right in the middle of all this stuff going on. So I have this joyful little puppy to take care of. So God knew, and it, so it's like his timing was so perfect because I needed her now. I didn't need her when I prayed for her. I needed her now for this season. So what I'll do, you guys, I'll take a picture. I'll step back and take a picture. I'd like to put those in the video so you can see the progression, and then we'll come back when these are dry. I'm going to have to be patient and wait for the dresses to dry, and then I'm going to show you how to do the rest of it. Ahead and try these um, while the paint is still wet because I think it might be kind of neat so let's see if it works so I'm gonna put the orange on this one go over the top of the first one yep it is I actually like it yeah that's what I wanted I love that see how it kind of picks up both colors going to be pretty. That's exactly what I was going for. I prayed this morning that the Lord would show me what he wanted me to put on here. He's so faithful. So there, I love that. See how that adds a lot more texture and dimension by doing that? Now what I'm going to do is reverse the colors. So we're going to put the red with the orange. I just love that. That's so pretty. Puppy's trying hard to be good. It's not working. Just love that. That's beautiful. Perfect. See that? How much better that looks? I love that. It's beautiful. And then, um, I think what I'm going to do with this first one is go back and put a tiny bit of blue just because I don't want these two to be so similar. Let's see what it does. You have to be careful because it will make it brown and I don't want that. I may have to go back. I don't really like that. So I'll have to go back and fix that when it dries a little more. Now for this one, we're going to put the lighter blue. That's what I wanted. those those are beautiful the only one I don't really like is that one so let me see if I can fix it and let's try the red go back and fix this I might be able just to scrape it off yeah that works that worked out perfect. I don't like the color. And see, this is what I was talking about. See how it turned it like this really ugly brown? So it just works really good. I can just scrape it off. That's the cool part. And I'll go 
go back and put a different color. I might do purple. I like that better. See, you guys, you really can't make any mistakes with these. If you don't like it, just change it. Sorry, Bailey's got the leash wrapped around the camera. And now, I think I'm going to put some of this really pretty light color blue. There. That's what I wanted. going to try something for the arms. Um, we're just going to drag this out and make it like an arm reaching out. Actually, let's try. I just kind of want an illusion of the arms. I don't really, I don't want them to be um, defined. That's the whole point of this. So it's kind of like your mind fills in the difference. So I, that's going to be, we'll come back and we'll put the hands in and maybe some more details on the robes. Basically, just doing the same thing I did before. I've seen people who kind of just make them blend in, and that's really what I want. Yep, that's what I like. That's why I told you these aren't meant to be really detailed. I just love the kind of the modern look to them. That's what I wanted. We are getting there. And then I just keep um, you know, just changing the colors between. So I have a washcloth with soap and water on it. Okay. And I know the last one's kind of hard to see. It's kind of on left-handed, so it's a little, a little challenging. That's what I wanted. 
except this one needs a little more blue. fun to work with these I've done flowers with them too they're they're beautiful and then I just really like the texture and the dimension from them I just really think it's pretty let's add a little more be careful because if I do too much then it'll take away from it okay we are in the home stretch we're gonna work on the face and the hair and these are the color choices and I'm sorry guys I didn't write the actual names but I have peach and I have yellow brown black white um, and what I'm gonna do is mix the skin tones and I gotta tell you, skin tones can be kind of tough sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is take a tiny bit of the peach and this like tan color and a tiny bit of pink and a little bit of white until, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So that's actually what I'm gonna use for the flesh tones. Actually, I like that. And then we're just gonna fill in the face. And I'm gonna put hair on top of it when we get done. So there's the first one. That's part it's kind of simple. I never put the faces on angels. Um, and even though I've seen them, you guys, to be honest, I can't even begin to do them justice. They're just so exquisitely beautiful. Like one of the ones I saw had like dark jet black hair. He had on a white gown that just glowed and it had diamonds on his sleeves. Just the most beautiful face you could ever imagine and so I I just can't do them justice to be honest and I kind of like the simple anyway I like their kind of folk arty and also there's also an, an old tradition that the reason why you're not supposed to put a face on them is because you wouldn't live if you saw the face of God and I don't believe that so of course I believe I mean I do believe we wouldn't be able to live in God's presence. That's why we don't live in heaven. But I mean, the angels I've seen, of course, I'm still alive. So, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the hair on them. And um, this part's kind of fun too. So for this, I like to use um, a nice fine tip brush. And let me see, I put a little bit of water. I think we're going to try one a brown one first and actually I'm going to move this a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing so it's kind of fun we're getting into the home stretch this one have pretty little curls Some of the angels I've seen, um, it's funny because some of them look just like humans, 
um, one angel I saw almost looked like um, almost like it was made out of this iridescent kind of her whole entire body was like a rainbow it was, she was beautiful that one was gorgeous and she just shimmered so they're just been amazing the experiences I've had with them I've just been really blessed to be able to see them and record them for you but they're real and they do work on our behalf And you all have your own guardian angel that's been assigned to you. That's so cool for your whole life. They look out for us. What I'm going to do is I'll go back and put a garland when these are dry in their hair. So we have that one. And then I think the next one maybe I'll do darker hair. Because she has that bright orange color. So I'm going to move this over. And her hair will make it That one done, and just have the other two. Maybe this one, you can have the blonde hair. It's kind of tough to work with. I'm probably going to go back and put some brown in it because it's kind of light and it doesn't really, you can see everything through it. Yeah, we're definitely going to put a little brown in it. have a hard time with the hair it's kind of my least favorite thing to do and I usually go back and back and back oops I got a little blue but that's okay
been a peaceful day to paint. I've been in, in class all week this week, so I'm really enjoying the weekend. And this has helped me take my mind off everything too. And I hope yours too. I hope you'll enjoy doing these. And they're they're not hard. These aren't aren't hard ones to do. And then the last one, I think we're gonna go with the brown. Kind of a reddish brown. And then I'm going to wait um, until these dry and then what we'll do is I'm going to put a garland of flowers in all of their hair. But I can't do it now, of course, until it's dry. So we'll be back in a little bit. So we got it done. I've really enjoyed working on this with you. Um, I'll bring it in a little bit closer. I love the vibrant colors and I decided not to do anything else with it. I just really like it. Um, let me go in close so you can see. I just really like the way the textures are on it um, and I do so time to spend with me today I hope this has been enjoyable and I just trust and pray that everybody will be safe and that we will get through this soon and I just want you to know that I pray for all of you every day and I love each and every one of you and God bless and just remember that God loves you he has a plan for your life he has not abandoned you and we will get through this together. Love you all. God bless.